Ribble FM. This is HFM. Right, I've got my guest here in the studio. He's a lovely gentleman. He's over from the Northampton area. I'd like to welcome James uh, McInerney. McInerney, is yes, that right? Yes, got it there McInerney, second time. Yeah. McInerney. <gasps> I think, I always think of Eric and Ernie when I hear that. Yeah. How many times have you been told that? Oh, all yeah. my life, yeah. All your life, is that it? <laughs> you know when you was at school and you had to give out the register name? Oh, he's here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Anyway, it's lovely to have you here, James, Thank today. You. And uh, you're obviously uh, a bit of a writer, to say the least. Yes. In more ways than one. And uh, I know that you've uh, had a couple of books come out which are on Amazon, which is great. Now, these books are slightly different to normal uh, books as the fact that they they are made of paper, of course, but they're all about poems. Yeah. Now then, what inspired you to start writing books about... Because uh, was it someone like... Is it Pam Ayres? She was a... a she wrote a lot of poems, did yeah. she not? Did yeah. you ever, do you ever remember seeing some of the programmes probably in your younger days? My younger, yeah. I wouldn't say, you, you know, because I mean, I'm 901, <laughs> but, you know, but, you know, what I'm saying is you remember Pam yeah. Ayres, I'm sure, because yeah. if you're into poetry, you've yeah. got to... Did... Was there any inspiration from Pam? Oh, not really, um, unfortunately. But, <laughs> <Okay>. um, <laughs> sorry, Pam. Yeah. But um, I didn't really... I just picked it up out of the blue, really. I have no recollection of how it started. Didn't really learn it at school either because we wasn't really taught poetry at school. Okay. And that was one of the things... And we may have learnt it in history, the different Shakespeare or something like that. Okay. But May. So when you actually started writing a poem, now some of these in the in the book that I've got here, this is the the posh version as you yeah, put it. Is. <laughs> this is the one with a few pictures. I can manage this actually with a few <laughs> pictures, in, you know, because I'm not really a book reader. This actually says that it's in between the lines. Mm -hmm. Now, one is well, how did you come up with that name? But firstly, when you started to actually write poems, why are they sort of one and two liners, as these are, you know, quite a few sort of verses and things out of it. How do you get that inspiration to be able to put these, because you want the next word to sort of rhyme with the one in the beginning. I, I get a few of those with my brain teasers, you know, for example, yeah. you know. Um, you know, I, I haven't got one here just as a, as, a, as a record, but you know, those words relate to something that you've said in the previous line. Yeah, I mean... Do you look for words that rhyme? Sometimes, depending okay. on what I'm writing about. Um, I use a lot of classical instrumental music to write okay. mine. Um, so, with that, I actually... Do you play that when you're writing a poem? Yeah. Oh, do you? Yeah, oh yeah, put my headphones nice. on, and they, they'll kind of help me get the emotions to put the words down on the page. So that really is why I use to write all my works. Okay. So Do you do this at home? In uh, quietness, with just the music on and the headphones on. Do you have yeah. the headphones on whilst yeah. you're doing it? And when I'm walking in the street with the headphones on, going somewhere, pen and paper in my hand, just writing stuff down, really. Yeah. Do you ever write poems about stories of things that have, may have happened in your life, or you see a story where, you know, it, like it's in the street or the town or somewhere, or if you, you know, wherever you are or out in the countryside or things like that? Does the weather ever inspire you to write poems? Like, yeah, all different things, yeah. I mean, okay. different things like emotions I've felt or experiences or I could think of something and how it might play out in words and then write it with music. Okay. Now, this particular book uh, is a collection of poems and photographs uh, by yourself. Mm -hmm. um, it's a special edition one. Yeah. And I've noticed you've actually got a signed one. Yeah. Is this one, can I, are we, are we giving this away today or not? No. No. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's my proof copy from the publishers, so. <laughs> I nearly got away with it. I, I thought I would. I thought I would. Uh, well, I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, it is uh, in between the lines. Is yeah. this related to, in between the lines, related to poetry? Is that it what is, it means? because, I mean, with every poem, there's always more to the poem than you read. So you read in between the lines okay. of everything. Okay, um, I'm just looking at this particular one here, and I know uh, the listener can't actually see this at the moment, obviously. Oh, to be a bird, and then next, on the opposite left-hand page, you've got, I'll let you see that, because you obviously know what's there. What is reflected to that picture, to that... Uh, poem which says oh to be a bird they're not necessarily reflected um each picture they're just in there to show oh, the showcase you got me excited <laughs> then oh, dear <laughs> i didn't think of that but i just didn't have enough pictures to go with enough poems so you've uh, just put that in to make it look good yes yeah, oh, make the book look yeah. pretty <laughs> it's still worth buying anyway even for these lovely pictures and these photographs are you as well yeah they are cool, they i'm a bit cool. too you look vain. a bit of a cool dude didn't that <laughs> i tell you don't you <laughs> i love black and white photography so i mean yeah. i love okay. taking photos yeah so a bit of a poser as well as a <laughs> as well as a poem writer well they all rhyme yeah, yeah. Poem. i bet you've never been told that before have you <laughs> no, no. Never. okay anyway back to your book it is available now how long did it take you to put this one together we've um, got uh when have we got let's just count how many pages we've got in this one quite uh, a bit 
two hundred and something, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's the special edition one, which you say has got the photos and everything else in. So with the photo, that's not you there, is it? No, no, that's, that's my right son. <laughs> oh, I mean, yes. oh, I can see that now. Yeah, but there's two hundred odd pages. This one's got the pictures in it. Yeah, we can't give it away, guys. I'm ever so sorry. I, I nearly <laughs> got rid of it. I did. <laughs> um, and this is all about different. Every poem in this book has actually got a title to it. Yeah. Now, how many of those are reflected in everyday life, um, James? They're, they're all of them. Every single one. Right? Yeah. Mm. And there's stuff that I've been through or other people, you know, I've learned as I've gone along and kind of wrote about it, my emotions and experiences. Can I read this one out? I'm not a Pam Ayers, but I'll read it. Yeah, okay. This is the title to this one. It says, Do I love thee too much? If your love shall be an anchor to sit upon my heart, then every look upon your face I'm punished from the start. Is that a true story, that one? Yeah, well, I'm not quite sure. Okay. That's good, <laughs> no comment. It? Okay. Well, we've got Ava coming in a minute, because she's, she's a bit... Of, come in, Ava. Come on, then. Can you come in for a moment? We've got we've got our works experience lady on here. Okay. I just want to ask her if, if uh, she's actually uh, done any poem writing at school, because she could be your uh, assistant, you know, oh, to get okay. you... <laughs> so, I uh, really want to... Now, all these, um, all these poems here... How long did it actually take you to put this together in a book? Quite, uh, they're there from a long, long time. Um, Are these old then? The book, the no, book's new, but the book's well, new, but they're a collection of 1998. Wow. Um, well, we've got Ava in it now. Ava, this book is called In Between the Lines, and it's something to do with poems of everyday life. Do you? Have, oh, let me let's put you on. There we go. <laughs> That's better. I can hear you now, Mum. Yeah. Uh, one of the things about this is that. James has put this book together. Mm -hmm. Did you ever get an opportunity? Because James said he didn't do it at school. Do you ever write poetry at school? We don't really write poetry, but we look at plenty of them because we've got to do an exam at the end of the year on <coughs> poems and things like that, you know. Is it? Are you any good at writing poetry? Because he's looking for an assistant. I think I might better <laughs> get, you, get you a job here, you know. I mean, you know, would you, would you like to sort of assist in the next... Are you got another edition of these coming out? I am. There's, a, there's actually an e-book coming out as well soon. So. I was going to ask you that, yeah. Yep. I'll tell you what, we're going to have to break for the news, and I've got my wonderful brain teaser coming up in a moment. So we'll come back to the book in just a few moments, tell you how people can get hold of it, and uh, what's your plans for the future and things like that. Is that all right, James? Yes, yeah, fine. Brilliant. OK, we'll be with you in just a few moments' time after this. Right, uh, James is still sitting here very, very uh, occasionally and... Uh, did you like my little rhyme? I did. I okay. did very good. That was, uh, that was not <laughs> bad, was it? Eh? <laughs> eh? I don't think you'll get in your book, though, James, no. do you? <laughs> I really don't. Anyway, let's just move on. Your wonderful book we've got here, we're talking about it today, which is available on Amazon's, all about poetry. And, uh, you know, I think uh, even I could get through a few reading... I mean, the words all are sort of fairly easy to read, aren't yeah. they? You know? that was the, yeah, that was the idea. It was to make it accessible to everyone so they could pick it up and not be too confused with by it. Oh, you got one nice one there of the pussycat there. I like yeah. that one. That's good. Is there a connection with that? It says beauty. Is that the beautiful pussycat there? Not really, but if you want it to be. <laughs> you, could do, you could call that black booty, couldn't you? <laughs> I'll have to check the... Get it I'm, giving him my, I'm giving him ideas now. Now then, getting this published must be... I know you've got... These poems go back quite a bit. Yeah. But... Getting it published, was that a difficult thing? Because there is so many people that write poetry out there, isn't yeah. there? I think it was, um, but and then looking back on it, it wasn't. It was one of those things, the hardest part of getting it done was getting it all compiled and getting it together, because it's a, lo a long time from 98, um, was really looking back what I wrote, brushing up a few of the poems and kind of getting them in the format that they should be to be published. OK, and um, one of the things, uh, you know, the happens when you do poetry is that do did you have to shorten any of these were they a bit too long some of them some of them were people said they were too short um so uh, it's a kind of a mixture it's all different lengths it's quick easy ones and then there's uh, really two page ones which really go on so I've, I've kind of got a mixture of every kind of length of poem in there to keep it so everyone's got what they want in there as opposed to just being all simple basic poetry were you a bit of a model? I mean, looking at that <laughs> picture there, my goodness me. It's a very young version of George Michael there, isn't it? Have you been told that before? No, I haven't. Yeah. I'm going to have to put that uh, on my CV. Is that George Michael? <laughs> Looks a bit like him. This is his gentleman here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Anyway, um, so you got it. You got it finally published, yep. um, and uh, you know, obviously, it's it's a it's a great credit to you, you it know, is, James, yep. to get this done, and. Um, 
this could be all for all age groups. I'm, I'm trying yeah, to give this away, you know, yeah. but he's not going to allow me. He's hanging on to it. Oh, Stalin. Um, but this is for all age groups if they like poetry. Because all yeah. age people like poetry, don't they? And I think the problem with now is the younger group are starting to get really into poetry now. Okay. Um, so I think they're starting to appeal to them. And, and I've noticed that over the years that the younger group is sta definitely starting to write more and poetry is making a comeback. Yeah. Now, also, there's some connection with some uh, TV and celebrity film stars and all sorts. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, I've had a lot of um, YouTube artists, actors, actresses, voiceover artists who've done... I've been really, really thankful for because they've voiced a lot of my poems um, and turned them into something more, you know, because obviously you can read a poem on a page, but to be given an actress or an actor's voice... Um, it's expression, isn't it? It is. And, and that's I, what Pam Ayres has got, isn't yeah. she? <laughs> I miss contact, Pam. <laughs> well, it is, isn't it? She, it was that expression yeah. of, of reading a poem. It is, and I could never do that. That's why I obviously reached yeah. out and they come to me and said, yes, we definitely love the work. Um, and they've def and they've voiced them and they're on YouTube and you can hear them in full and there's loads of them. Okay, so there is a, a mixture of whether you buy the book on Amazon, yep, or you get it on uh, e. Can't, yeah, but that's out later this year. That's so not that's available. not available. No, actually. and will that be available from from Amazon? Yes, it will oh, be. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, also YouTube. Now, you, you, I'm going to leave you because I'm looking in the back here. I'm going to leave you two in this wonderful book that I've been trying desperately to get rid <laughs> of. But um, things about the YouTube. How can they? You got the details of YouTube. Yeah. So there. if you go to YouTube, go to the search bar um, and type yeah. in Mills M I L L S. MC 1977. That brings up my YouTube channel, all my radio interviews, all my. YouTube. That wasn't when you were born, was it? 77. It was. It was. Hey, how did I guess that one? Eh? <laughs> Cause he's only a young sprog <laughs> at the moment. So that is good. So YouTube, yeah. and then they can and listen. It's on my website. My website ah, ho right, hosts okay. everything. Even if you type my name into Google. I'm, I come up in Google everywhere anyway, so... I did, I noticed that the other week when you sent me the details. Yeah, the it's all over... I thought I'd better check him out, because you know he'll be a dodgy character, <laughs> you know, for all I know. Uh, so, Facebook itself as yeah, well? Yeah, I'm on Facebook, same again, James McInerney, but actually there's links to everywhere on my website. Um, if you type my name into Google, I'll come up everywhere for Facebook as well, so... Okay. I'm saying all over so, the find place. out all, all more sort of information on that. How's the book going, uh, Selling Jane? really well, uh, even both copies, the, the bit more... And it's overseas people buying it too? Yeah, all different Fantastic. countries and they're even sending in pictures of them holding the book um holding the book and sending them in and they're on, and they're on the website as well so it's been really it's been okay. so much better than i expected brilliant now then you've done this one phase two with the photographs you've got phase one there which yeah. is the slightly cheaper how much is this available on amazon that unfortunately is 17 pounds well that's it's still a lot of value because you you know you've got all the and that one is the cheaper it's, version it's, six, it's only six pounds so it's really okay. cheap i wanted everyone to be able to get it of different you know no matter what the price you could still get all the poems just that okay. one's signed and it's got photography in the and other. it will be available on ebook later because yeah. you know the old um the kindle, old Watson, yeah, yeah. kindle there is come you know it's taking on more yeah i don't know i don't know what your thoughts are on that being a you know a bit of an author of books and things like that or oh, this particular book is how do you feel about books selling for the future do you think that that's going to happen because of kindle and stuff like that i think that? that they are going to kindle i think that's the way it'll go but i mean i wanted a book out because i grew up with books and i wanted yeah. my first book to be a book on yeah. your shelf yeah and not an electronic one okay you must feel very proud i am yeah it's been okay. a lot of hard work and it's now then next one when is that coming up well, I'm working on that now. I've got a lot of new poems I've wrote, and they're all compiled for the next book, which will be out soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Now, this book here is 200 pages, so there must be, what, 100-plus poems in here? Yeah, there's about 161. Yeah, well, well, whatever. And, <laughs> yeah, because they're not all got a picture on every page. Yeah, yeah. Now, I think you should send that picture off to one of these, you know... <laughs> Uh, you know, this sort of big national glossy magazines, because you could get in there, you know. Oh, no, to really I'm, I'm that. It's, it's a cracking picture, that is it. We'll get Ava's uh, uh, you know, <laughs> opinion in a minute about that. But we wish you luck with the new book that's... And when do you think when that will likely to be available? Because this one book? took a few years. Yeah, quicker. oh, the next book, oh, yeah, next year sometime. Quicker. I would, yeah, yeah, quicker, but not... Uh, yeah, next year, possibly. Okay, so 160 poems in this one. Yeah. How are you... You're not going to repeat, are you? How do you mean? <laughs> You're not going to repeat any in the new book. Oh, no, they're all brand new. I've started to write them now and they're completely different. Wow. My goodness me. You'll probably be making a poem now about HFM today because <laughs> that mole man was trying to give away your book. <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyway, listen, we, list, we wish you good luck with the book. Thank you. And uh, just a final word from yourself today, James, because you've had a bit of extra because we've had traffic news and all sorts yep. of stuff. What would you recommend to the listener out there today? 
Um, what about my book? Or? Yes, well, whatever. Well, I would recommend that people do look at poetry because it's obviously starting yeah. to disappear. Um, it, it, people think of poetry as Shakespeare, Milton, Byron, but it's, it's so much more. Mm. And um, people, the younger people, are certainly starting to get into poetry now, and that's really appealing. So yeah. it's not something change people's mindset. It's not Shakespeare poetry. It's not all Shakespeare. It can be whatever you want it to be. And have you got a title for the next one that's coming out next year? I haven't, no, not yet. <laughs> mm, mm. Okay, well, it's it's still a great title. So, that you guys, if you want to read a bit of poetry, because it can make you cheerful as well. Yeah, there's all different emotions in that book, every different poem. Okay. In Between the Lines there, by uh, James uh, McInerney. Yep. I love that, McInerney. <laughs> it's like... Ernie and, you know, Mac. Mac, yeah. <laughs> there we go. And uh, it is available on um, um, Amazon. Amazon as well. And don't forget to go on that YouTube there. James, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And good luck with the book, with the next one particularly. And we'll hopefully look forward to seeing you again yep. when you get the other one out. And, oh, we'll yeah, have a, and make sure you bring me a copy next time. I will next time, Because yep. I may not let you have this one back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 102.3 HFM. This is HFM.